Let's talk about how version history that the vault stores can be of help to us as an AutoCAD user. Do a quick search for a document and then select a specific file. Notice it's a version 4 document as in the column there. On the preview tab we can choose the current version or scroll to see past versions. If we select the current version it opens a preview of the document in the lower details window. We can from the drop-down list select different versions of the document and take a look and see how they might differ from the current version and previous or earlier versions of the file. If we take a look at the history of the versions this lists the documents and we can actually open in the window these drawing documents previews for previous versions and we could do that with multiple versions so now what we're saying is really we have the ability to view these documents side by side in a window so instead of having to choose one and remember what it looks like I can take a look at these documents side by side and, and really get a better idea of what the differences are between old and new just close up those side by side viewing windows and take a look at some of the benefits of being able to restore a previous version. In this case, we're going to roll back to a previous version, version 1. And we'll accomplish that by doing a checkout and pulling a copy of the previous version into our workspace. So the desired version 1 documents now localized on our machine we take a look in AutoCAD and what that looks like from AutoCAD, I'll just open that file up, you can see it's the version 1 file. At that point all we need to do is really just check this document back in as the latest version and I'll make a note to that effect in the comments which are also searchable. So we're going to be superseding version 4 with uh, version 1 which is actually going to be version 5 so we would expect to see version 5 now of when the version 1 state. In either case the design file gets checked back in and supersedes the previous one. This workflow can also be used to take an existing previous version of a design and create a new design from it by just assigning it a new name.